and guys just so you know that i've also been working on those engineering positions in the past without having my png license hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is amartya rupani and in today's video i'm going to answer one of the most commonly asked questions that can i work as an engineer in canada without having a png license or without png can i even get an engineering job so in this video, I'm going to answer all the questions. So without wasting any time, let's just start. Now, before I answer your question, let me explain what does a PH license mean? It is a professional license that is issued by one of Canada's regulatory bodies after you demonstrate your requisite education, skills, knowledge, and work experience. When you have been licensed by one of Canada's regulators, you are allowed to call yourself an engineer and you can use the reserved title PH, which means professional engineer which means you are licensed to practice engineering in the province or territory where your license was granted. And guys, I've already made a super useful video on PNG licensing process and it is already at my channel in which I have described the complete and detailed information such as how to apply for PNG, its requirements and many more. I've also provided the extra information based on my personal experience that will be hard for you to find online. The link of this video is given in the description box below. You can check it out. Okay, now back to your question. Can I work as an engineer in Canada without having a PNG license? So guys, the answer is yes. You can work at an engineering position or job only if the work that you will be performing at your job is not considered to be within the practice of professional engineering. Now you must be thinking that what is the work that is considered to be within the practice of professional engineering? So here is the list of those three uh, parts where you can test if the work is within a uh, practice of engineering. For example, if the work involves planning, designing, composing, advising, managing, that requires the application of engineering principles and concerns the safeguarding of life, health, property, the public welfare, or the environment, then this work is considered within the practice of professional engineering. And if you do not have PNG license, then you cannot practice professional engineering work without the supervision of a licensed engineer. So in other words, there must be at least one licensed engineer assigned to take responsibility for any engineering work done by any unlicensed employee. And guys, just so you know that I've also been working on those engineering positions in the past without having my PNG license. And as I said, uh, the tasks or duties that I was assigned that is considered within the practice of professional engineering, such as designing, uh, planning and supervising was done in a team where there were many professional engineers involved including my supervisors who were professional engineers too okay guys so that was pretty much it for today and i hope you find this video helpful and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe my channel because there's a lot more coming up for you guys till then you take care and i'll see you again